I'd like to share how I charge my super capacitors. I know a few people have asked me in some other videos. Um, basically, I just use a, a battery charger for a car, 12 volt battery. This is a um, this is a 10 amp battery charger, but I guess it's supposed to surge to 55 amps. I don't know. Um, this this is one of the major problems when you charge a supercapacitor is when you hook uh, any charger up to well anything up to a dead capacitor it's going to be almost like a short as you can see you notice this little pin on the left okay the charger automatically shut off because that's <clears throat> way too many amps for it to handle it's a lot of amps. It's even more than 55 because the resistance from here to here is not that much. So we need to find a way. We need to find a way to charge these at a rate that this thing can handle. And to do that, I'm going to say um, 10 amps would be maybe our goal to shoot for. And just quickly using a calculator, note, note that if these things are 12 volts, they probably charge at maybe maybe even as high as 18 volts probably more like 15 volts and maybe as low as 13.8 volts so you can never rely on this to give exactly 12 volts and you don't want to overcharge your capacitors you don't want to give them over voltage so each one of these are 2600 farad 2.5 volts so I have 5, 10, 15 I can handle 20 volts at the moment so that that puts me in a safe range for this charger um, so don't don't hook one of these up to a car charger and expect that everything will be okay. <clears throat> so you notice we're at 2.42 volts. That's on all these caps at the moment. I'm going to take I'm going to take 13.8 volts on the calculator. Divide that by I want uh, let's say 10 amps. And that's saying that I need a resistance of 1.38 ohms. And that's to uh, that's to charge this at about 10 amps. So basically, all I've done is I've taken four feet of uh, 12 gauge wire. It's solid, but I hear that the stranded works better. Um, I hear stranded even at the same gauge could handle more amps. I'm not sure if that's true, but this is what I have. This is what I use. Uh, coil it up. It's about a four inch diameter. I honestly don't think it matters. But uh, if you check the resistance with a meter, you should get somewhere within that 1.38 range would be ideal. In my case, I'm at about, uh, I'm a little less, so we'll see if this charger can handle it. Basically, all I'm going to do is connect one end to the coil. And the other one I'm going to connect... I'm actually going to, I have these little alligator clips that probably can't handle the amount of current that I'm going to give it. So I'm going to connect two of them together, like so. And then I'm going to connect those to this, and we'll see what we get. That's a safe amount. We're running at, uh, okay, these things can't handle that heat. But we were actually at about 12 amps, which is great. The only thing is these uh, alligator clips are just a little too small for that. <laughs> so, now that I've burned the insulation off these nice alligator clips, let's see if we can't just... Let's see if we can't just use one of the clip ends to clip this wire to here. I think that'll be the best for us. This other black wire is just a, uh, it's just going to this meter right here. Okay, it doesn't like that. I'm going to let it run though for a second. But obviously if you use more wire, you're going to get more resistance. Coil, always coil it up. You're going to get more resistance and you're going to, that's going to lead to less amps. So in this case, I probably should have used a 5 or 6 there. It just shut off. Probably should have just used a 5 or 6 foot wire. Would have been ideal for this. But you see, we've increased almost 3 volts just from that short period. This thing shut off. It's not liking me right now. 
And now that it's back on, I'm just going to give it to it again. Ooh. Okay, that thing desoldered itself when it got hot. Look at the wire here. Come out of the side. It can handle that for a little bit before it shuts off. If you have a charger that can't, um, that doesn't have an, a shut off like that, you might want to uh, definitely use more wire. Otherwise, you'll just burn it up. You'll notice there's stuff inside that glows red when you're doing this. And this is a tremendous amount of energy we're giving these capacitors right now. And you notice as we come up to voltage, this thing's fluctuating a little bit. It's going to draw less amps as you come up to voltage. In this case, we're at 10.7 right now. And I saw this thing fluttering a little bit. And it's actually, it's hard to see, but it's actually on its way down. And it should drop to zero as these capacitors come off the charge. Okay, we're down to 13 amps right now. Okay, so this charger stopped at about 15.53 volts. Um, it's since dropped to 15.45 just from these uh, capacitors. And then you can go ahead and hook it up to something and watch it last for a really, really, really long time. This will probably last for a couple hours like this on these capacitors. And I, I might just leave it here just to let it drain too. It's a pretty bright light. Or you could always discharge them the fun way. Woo! <laughs> this wire is like super hot, like right now, like it's really warm. That was fun. It's a ah! 